come from a Middle Eastern background. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but just people don't know what I, uh, they don't know what I look like sometimes, and it just makes it awkward, like situation in certain places. Like, uh, you know, like I was in Cranbrook, BC, and I'm just standing on the corner, uh, slurping, like a slurpee, just innocently, by myself. The dude's walking across the street. He gets, I don't know, he's just walking normal. He like looks, but he gets startled. Like, I don't know why he got, he just got, like his face just went, and he, and he just goes, hey, what are you, black native? I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> what was that, man? Is that a superhero? Like, I have no idea. You know when you hear and you're like, like you, you think you're dumb? Like, man, did I? Like, man, am I stupid? Like, did I hear it? Like, I try to poke him, but he's across the street. Like, man, are you real? Like, that doesn't make any sense. You didn't even say, hey, what's up? You just shot the black native. Nobody even knows what that means. A bird fell from the ground. It was confused. Everybody's just lost. And I'm an idiot, and I go, huh? Because I'm scared. I go, huh? I was like, that's not even my real ha huh voice. Like, I, don't, I go ha. Huh. I don't go ha. Huh. I was like, what do I sound like that? It's <laughs> weird. And he goes, man, what are you, black native? I was like, no, no, I'm Lebanese. And then he goes, lesbian? And then he ran away. I was like, come on, man. You look like the ugliest lesbian right now. Is that a setup? <laughs> I was working with this other comic, and at the, we're at the hotel, but he, like, there was, like, he just, he was weird. He was like, hey, man, you want to go swimming? I was like, you can't, you can't do that. Especially if it's two dudes. Like, you can't, like, go from nothing to go, hey, man, you want to go swimming? I was like, where? He goes, there's a, there's a pool in the hotel. Do you want to go swimming? I was like, I don't know how to swim. And then he goes, me either. I was like, then what are we going to do? What, are we going to drown together? Like, we need somebody else in case we're drowning to save us. Why do you want to do this? And then he goes, bro, there's a slide. I was like, what? <laughs> What's your brain process? If we're sitting in a hotel, we're like, man, I can't swim. Pool, slide, let's do it. Like, that's, like, what's going on? I'm like, we can't swim, though. He's like, but bro, the slide, like, the slide, man. It's got a curve. We'll just be sliding, like, all day. I'm like, we're both in our 30s, man. We can't just slide anymore. We've got bills to pay and money to make. We just can't run in this world and be sliding and slipping. You know, that's what I'm trying to tell him, but he doesn't get it. But I'm like, fine, like, fine, man, I'm bored, let's do this. So we go down to the front desk, and we go to the lady, we're like, hey, man, we need to get into the pool. And she goes, well, do you stay here? I was like, that's not real. <laughs> You're not real. Like, we need to stay. Like, yeah, like, we need, there's people who don't, like, who's not staying here and going to pools and hotel? What weird family. Kids, shut the TV off, man. We're going to the Holiday Inn. There's a pool in there. Let's go. Like, what kind of psycho is going from town to town with his family just using the pools? You want to stay here? No, slide. That's all I need. Give me 25 minutes. Family wants to get wet, and we're in the car, and we're out of here. We're moving on to the next town. That's what we do. We're a family that just swims awkwardly in hotels. We don't check in. We don't go for meals. That's what we do. We like to get our swim off in random places like Red Deer, Alberta. That's how it goes down with my family. Then I was, she's like, you gotta go to a Walmart because I don't have like swim trunks. I was like, look, dude, I don't even got swim trunks. He goes, how do you not have swim trunks? I just can't swim. I don't have swim trunks. <laughs> but the lady's like, yo, there's a Walmart down the street. You guys can go to Walmart. I said, like, we go to Walmart and I, t I find a worker. I was like, hey, ma'am. I was like, I need swim trunks. And she looks at me and she goes, do you know what kind of weather is out there right now? <laughs> It's snowing. Why would you use, why do you need, why do you need swim trunks? Why? I was like, why are you yelling at me in front of all these people? But she had that like Walmart, you know that twang, like you know that twang, that Walmart. You know how some people were born for Walmart? Like you just have that, you know that voice, man? And you know like, ah, like you're just like, well, you know where the eye, like that kind of. Like you can like like when they hire you, I think they like, hey man, what's an aisle four? Aisle four has toast. Like they, they <laughs> that's what she sounded like, and she's just yelling at me, and my shoulders are getting low, and she's like, she's like, all we have is black underwear. They're silk. That's all we have. I was like, I can't wear that. Like I can't wear that. That's weird. They're like not even shorts. They're like underwear, and they're like silky, like really silky. Like I can't. Be in a water, like you know what I mean? I can't go down a slide and like I got a hairy chest. Like I can't just come from under the water with these silk shorts. Like ah, I'm a rapist shark. And just swim in the water. Where the 
now, kids with no parents. Ah! <laughs> Man, I used to have a girlfriend. <laughs> but she's gone. <laughs> but she was like, you know, like, you know, I don't know how to explain this, man. Like, you know, when you're trying to get a girl, you have to, like, listen. <laughs> right? You have to, like, focus. Because you're trying to get laid. So there's, like, a meter, right? That girls don't know, I think, we have as dudes. Like, the meter is like, man, I got to keep listening. So that the meter to get laid, right? And if it drops, you, like, got to get, like, it just keeps. It's you and, like, oh, my God. Listening. You're like, no, I'm not even listening at all. <laughs> but there's sometimes, like, you don't, like, she, the problem with her is I liked her, but she didn't know how to, she didn't, she didn't understand fun, you know? <laughs> like, when you have fun, she was like a hawk. She would suck your fun out. <laughs> because you have to, like, because girls, they tell crappy stories sometimes. <laughs> but we just let you get away with it, right? A guy, if he's telling a crappy story, you're like, man, dude, I was at the park, bro, and I just saw a bird that just came down, and then, like, I just, like, that's a, sh that's a shitty story. <laughs> okay, you know, stop telling stories. But chicks, you tell, like, dumb, like, not dumb, but sometimes they don't make sense. You're like, I was at the store, and there was a blue shirt, and then this blue shirt, and then a coworker told me this, and then I went outside, there was a mailbox, and a bus showed up, and everything. Like, come on, man, put sentences. You're just putting words together and smushing it in people's faces. But we listen, man, we listen. And I hate myself for listening. I want to change. I want to just shut a conversation down. I'm like, no, this is stupid. I don't want to get laid. I want to go home. I want to get a sandwich. I'm shut it down. I'm shutting it down. I was sitting with this girl, and she's missing a tooth. It's gone. Front row gone. It's not even acknowledging it. Look, when I'm missing a tooth, I'm telling you, where, like I'm telling you right off the bat, start a conversation. Look, tooth gone. Grade four, football. This chick is like just talking and just talking, and it's gone. Front row. She's like, front row. I went to school in New York. I know. Where the hell is the tooth, man? Is it in a jar? Where is it? Thank you very much, Madeline.